In this video I'm going to take a look at the help function in Python and I'm going to use it specifically to assist us with understanding classes and what classes have internally and we're going to do this with respect to the TK into frame class. We're going to have a look at the frame class and the methods it has, what the frame class inherits from and so on. This is a simple two-line computer program in Python and if we look at the first line you can see that from the TK into module we're importing everything and the second line you can see is a print statement and it's a print statement that we can see within there is the help function and we're getting help on the frame which has been defined in the TK into module. Now when we run this program we come up to here or press F5, click onto there and you will see the runtime. Now here is the runtime and if I use the scroll bar here and scroll up you can see we are presented with a considerable amount of information and this is all information with regards to the class that's the frame class. Now here you can see that I've taken a screenshot of part of the information supplied by this line of the computer program and I'm taking the information from the top of the output from the program statement we've just referred to and if you look here it is telling us that this is help on the class frame in module TK Inter and here you can see that it says class frame and in brackets it's got widget now that means that the widget is the superclass of the frame class and within here there's a bit of a description of what this class does it says frame widget which may contain other widgets and can have a 3d border and here it gives us something referred to as the method resolution order now I'm going to come back to what that means in a later video what I'm particularly interested in here is this lot you can see that it's saying methods defined here now this is an example of a method that is part of the frame class and here it's talking about valid resource names and we can see we have background color we have B G, which stands for background color as well we've got border width we've got relief we've got all of the things that are part of giving us the look of a frame when we create one and if you refer to the previous videos in the playlist you can see how we've given um, our frames 3d looks and so on now if I decide I wish to inherit from the frame class for a computer class that I'm writing as a computer programmer the method I'm interested in is this one here the initialization method because if I decide to produce my own class based on the frame class I have to invoke the initialization routine of the frame class within the initialization routine of the program I'm writing that's inheriting from the frame class let's be clear what we're seeing when we use the help function in Python you can see here that I am looking at the initialization routine header look below and you can see there is no code being shown all I'm being given is the header what you can see below is a string which tells us what the initialization routine will do it says construct a frame widget with the parent master what I'm having exposed here is what I need to know about if I want to inherit from the frame class and what I'm interested in are these parameters here because if I'm going to call this method from my code within a class I'm writing I need to know what I'm going to have to pass to that initialization method if I come down here what I need to know is that I can gain access to the background color I can gain access to the border width I don't know how that axis is achieved what I do know is that these I can get at they're available for me to use within the program I'm writing because these will be inherited from the frame class when I come to write my class that's based on the frame class now if I consider this header and I decide that my program is going to invoke this initialization routine then I look to the parameters here and I can see there are four of them now it would be obvious to me looking at this that I therefore need to pass in four parameters one to here one to here one to here and one to here 
now unfortunately it's not that straightforward because what we have got here is the ability to pass in a dictionary where that dictionary will hold the values of these resources here so i can arrange for a dictionary to set all of the various resources that you see listed here this well this is something that allows us to take in lots of key word arguments and unfortunately at this stage of the videos i've covered you're not if you've been following at the stage to precisely understand what these mean so i can say that for the time being just accept that you can ignore these two and what i'm therefore saying is when i call this initialization routine i only need to send something to this parameter and to this parameter here now if you look elsewhere on the channel under functions you will see i have covered the way in which parameters are passed and it would be well worth you having a look at that because what they do is to talk about how you can pass parameters by value and how you can pass parameters by name i'm not going to cover that here but i will be returning to it in some of the later videos so because i have the background knowledge i know that if i want to invoke this initialization routine i need to supply this and this i don't have to worry about these two for the moment before i show a computer program that calls the initialization of the frame class the one we're going to be inheriting from i'm having another look at the output from the health function that's further down the listing of the output and here you can see that this says methods inherit from base widget and here we can see that the header of a method referred to as destroy appears and below there's a bit of a description of what this will do now what this is telling me is that i can call this method but the method has not been defined in the frame class because the frame class has inherited from something referred to as the base widget if i come here i can see there are a number of other methods and these methods have been inherited from a class called miscellaneous now these methods are defined in that class but the frame class has inherited them so what we can take from this is that the frame class is a subclass of other classes and what this is demonstrating is something referred to as multiple inheritance now multiple inheritance is where a class can take all of the attributes from more than one class now this is something i'm going to come back to but i just wanted to show you the other types of things that we can glean from using the help function let's consider this computer program and it is something similar to what we've seen before in earlier videos and in fact the difference between this program and what we've seen earlier is shown on this line and i'll come to explain what this line is doing in a moment now here you can see i as the programmer are writing a class called red frame and red frame is the subclass of frame so here i have written the initialization routine of the red frame class so this is the code i'm responsible for writing but if you look to this line what you can see here is that i am referring to the frame class which is here i'm referring directly to the frame that i'm inheriting from which is the frame class and you can see we've got dot notation and we are invoking this initialization routine and this initialization routine is being defined in the frame class and if you look to the brackets of the initialization routine you can see i'm passing in self and i'm passing in the window and this is passing in by referring to the name of the parameter and again this is something i've covered elsewhere on this channel but i will come back to covering this for tk inter in a video solely devoted to this but this line here is what i wish to concentrate on and if you look to what i got from the help function i got this 
and it tells me about the initialization routine of frame and you can see that it's expecting to receive self and that's precisely what I did here I gave it self and here you can see that the information given to us by the health said that master was assigned none which means that this has a default value of none meaning it's not attached to any parent window here well I've said before that we can ignore these for the reasons I outlined earlier in this video so if we look here we can see that this is self which is what I'm passing because I know it's needed because of this here and here you can see I'm referencing the master consequently the window is passed to master replacing the default value that was there i.e. replacing the value of none so now master is associated with the window let's do a walkthrough of this computer program now the first line to execute is this and what this will do it will create an instance of a window now this line will create an instance of the red frame class which I have coded here and of course if you have a look at the creation of the instance you can see that in brackets we have my window and that of course is the my window that was created on this line so the frame created here will be associated with the window that was created here now you will know from previous work that when we create an instance then we will have an ID generated and that ID is given here to self and this my window is passed to here which is the window the name of the variable that I have chosen as the parameter name now this line of code we know will actually ensure that inheritance works and we can see that it is going to invoke the initialization routine for the frame class and if we look here you can see that we have self and that's the self that's been passed to here so the self passed to here will be passed as you can see to here when we call the initialization routine of the frame class and here you can see we're using a named argument master and we're assigning to that the window which was passed to here so this window that was created first then we pass the window here to there and then when we executed this line the same window was passed in so the instance of the frame class here allowed us to ensure that the frame we're going to be generated is tied to the window that was created here now these lines of code are accessing the height the width the relief the border width and the background color now the reason we can get at these is because we have this line of code here and this line of code allows us to get at these because these are the resources these are the attributes that were declared in the frame class and of course the frame class is the superclass of the subclass which is the red frame class and of course we can see that from the help which I'm showing here the valid resource names well here you can see we've got the height we've got the width we've got the background color and so on so the help enabled me to realize that I can gain access to these when I decide to inherit from the superclass frame of course this line of code will create another instance of the red frame class and that instance will generate an ID which is passed to here and of course that ID is also passed here and we can see that this instance when created takes in my window which is the window created here and that is passed to here and then it's passed on again here as you can see now we know we can gain access to these and the fact that I knew we can gain access to the height the width the relief the border width and the background color was because I used the help function on the frame class and I got this list here which told me that look you can gain access to the width for example the height and so on now these two lines of code we've seen before and we should know that they position the frames that were created on the two lines here onto the window so when we run this program what we should see is the following 
Now here you can see I've taken the program that I've just been discussing and I've added this line here which is going to print the help on the red frame class and of course the red frame class is the one I've declared here and if you have a look at what I've typed in I've only typed in one method here which is the initialization method and everything else I've been able to do has been achieved through inheritance. If I now run this computer program I'm going to get all of the information on the red frame class and what I'm showing here is a segment of the output it's the top of the output from the print statement I've just discussed and if you have a look it's telling us we've got help on the red frame class and the red frame class has been declared in the main module and this is here in the main module as you can see and then you come to this method resolution order now I'm going to come back to what that means in a later video but come down here and you can see methods defined here and it only lists the one method the initialization method and you can see the header for that initialization method here and that's how it appears in the code as you can see here and of course underneath the header is the various lines of code now what we're looking at is the information on the red frame class and of course this is only the top of it if I was to go further down the list I would see a lot more information but I'm just going to look at this bit here and you can see methods inherited from the base widget and this is the one that's inherited from the base widget the destroy method which I've discussed earlier in this video so in this video we've looked at how the help function can give us an insight into what has been declared what has been defined in various classes this one here helped us look at what was being defined within the frame class which is a class that's given to us by the tk inter module and here we were able to have a look at what was defined in the red frame class which is a class that I developed in this video. My recommendation is that you use the help function within a print statement as illustrated in this video to help you get a feel for all of the attributes that exist within various classes that you use or various classes that you actually code yourself and it'll help you get a feel for the structure of all of the classes which class inherits from which other class as well as knowing what the various attributes are within classes that have been declared within modules that you can import or within classes of your own modules that you as a programmer have written check out the supporting website for these videos in addition why not follow me on twitter as i issue a tweet every time i upload a new video